You might be able to tell the subject matter of the video today just by my attire here. That's right. I got a little bit of a whim and felt like going back and doing a tier list on some football, some NFL fun. Um, did one on the NFL teams a little while back. If you guys want to go check that out, hey, I'll put in the description down below a link for you guys so you guys can go check that out as well. And today we're going to be doing the 2021 starting quarterbacks. It looks like the list that I had looks like they have some backups as well. It should get pretty interesting. So if you guys are NFL fans, let me know down in the comment section below who your favorite quarterback is and also who your favorite team is. If you guys could also hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, so you guys know what's going on with this channel at all times. And if you guys could as well, comment down below what you guys want me to cover next, what you want me to do for tier lists next, a reaction next, anything. Let me know and I will definitely evaluate it. And let's get on with the tier list. So as you can see here, we have bad, average, great quarterbacks, MVP caliber quarterbacks, and then just straight up MVP elite like quarterbacks, basically. So we're going to start it off here with Mr. Carr of the Las Vegas Raiders. And I would put him honestly just in great. Um, his numbers have always been solid, just never elite. But he's putting up good passing yards this year. Um, Las Vegas is, I believe at this point, a game above 500. They just beat the Cowboys uh, on Thanksgiving. So that was a pleasure to watch. Um, yeah, definitely a great quarterback. And then we have number seven here. And then we have Ben Roethlisberger of the Pittsburgh Steelers. Definitely a future Hall of Famer for sure. Um, two Super Bowls. Has put up pretty solid numbers in his career. Um, right now, at this point, I would just call him average at this point. And then this is Trevor Heineke, I believe, with Washington football team. Yes. Um, I haven't seen much of him, but he seems like he's doing okay. So we're going to put him average. Uh, Russell Wilson, at this point, he's been hurt. He's been uh, banged up this year. I think he missed a month. Seattle has not been good this year. He's not been sharp as he usually is, but he's still a great quarterback. It's a little too soon to put him in bad or average. And then Dak Prescott, Cowboys, yes, I know. Ugh. But you got to give guy props. He's coming back from a season-ending injury last year. I believe it was ACL or MCL or something like that. Pretty gruesome. Oh, it was an ankle injury, actually. He's definitely an MVP caliber quarterback, for sure. Um, got to admit it. And Drew Locke, Eddie, don't believe he's a starter right now. Um, but he's usually pretty bad when he is. We're just going to put him there. Then Matthew Stafford, he's finally on a really good team. And L.A. used to be the quarterback for the Detroit Lions. And honestly, MVP Cal Lugerber. Um, I wouldn't say he's quite MVP quite yet, um, but he's having a pretty good season in L.A. And L.A. has been great this year as well. And then Joe Burrow. Okay, so he was the number one over pick last year. Got hurt, I think, about halfway through the season against Washington. And Cincinnati is now 7-4. and four. I just watched him absolutely annihilate the Pittsburgh Steelers last week. This dude is impressive when he's on the field. MVP caliber. Yes, he's an MVP caliber quarterback. Joe Burrow. Uh, Tua Tonga Vailoa. I believe that's how you say that. Of the Miami Dolphins. Uh, average. He's had a bit of injury issues this year. High draft pick last year. Um, was kind of platooning the starting role with Ryan Fitzpatrick last year. Um, average is what I, I can rate him at so far. Um, he's just been kind of okay. And then... I believe Jimmy Garoppolo is a good game manager. He got the Niners to the Super Bowl a few seasons ago. And they lost to the Kansas City Chiefs. Um, I just put him at average. Josh Allen of the Buffalo Bills. Um, he hasn't been as good as he was last year, but he's definitely an MVP caliber quarterback. No doubt. Freaking about it. One of my favorite quarterbacks to watch. Um, the Buffalo Bills are still good this year. He still had a good season this year. He's getting a little turnover happy again like he did in the past, but he's still having a great season. And then Justin Herbert, he is truly, truly, truly becoming one of the best in the game. And no doubt one of my favorites to watch. So he's an MVP caliber quarterback as well. And then Mac Jones 
he has been the most impressive out of all the QBs in this draft class by far. Um, his completion percentage is great. Passing yards have been great. Uh, hasn't been turning the ball over much. Uh, the Patriots are 7-4. to four, So, you know, I didn't see that coming. But I knew he was going to be a good fit when he got picked this year. And, well, he's proven me right so far. Um, I'm going to put him in great. It's a little too soon to put him in MVP caliber, but looking pretty good. And then the man that is considered probably the best quarterback of all time at this point, Tom Brady. That's right. Number 12 of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. MVP. Easy. And then Jalen Hurts of my Philadelphia Eagles, the current starting quarterback for the Philadelphia Eagles. I got to put him in average. He's just so damn inconsistent this year. He's in his second season and his first full season as a starter so you got to give him a little bit of slack um, new coaching staff and whatnot but his throwing accuracy has been a huge issue and that's a big deal when you're a quarterback runs the ball very well makes the occasional good throw but it's just too inconsistent so he's gonna go in average hey i call it how i see it you know even players on my team are not safe um, and then Daniel Jones of the New York Giants, he's kind of the same way. You know, he's a great athlete, can run the, with the ball very well, but he's so inconsistent throwing the ball. Sometimes he looks really good. Sometimes he doesn't. He's going an average for me. And then Kirk Cousins of the Minnesota Vikings. I'm going to put him in, as soon as I get focused here, in great quarterbacks. He definitely gets a lot of shit for some reason, but his numbers always look really solid to me. And then we have Carson Wentz former Philadelphia Eagles quarterback. Awful season last year. Had a MVP caliber season in 2017. Big One of the biggest reasons, if not the biggest reason, we won the Super Bowl that year. Fortunately, he went down with a season-ending injury later in the season. I think it was week 12 against the Rams. And he's had a great season in Indy this year, so he's going to go into great. I don't know if he's an MVP caliber quarterback quite yet, though. Again, maybe. And then Kyler Murray, MVP caliber. I mean, the season he's had this year has been incredible. He's been banged up, unfortunately, but when he's been on the field, he's looked as good as anybody. Like, he made the Pro Bowl last year, 2019, Rookie of the Year. It just keeps getting better and better. MVP caliber quarterback, Cardinals, 9-2, I believe. Freaking amazing. And then Patrick Mahomes, who's probably considered the best quarterback in the game at this point. He goes in the MVP as well. He's already won an MVP as well. He's won a Super Bowl, got to the Super Bowl last year, and then lost to the Tom Brady, as you can see right there. He's right next to him. And he continues to just put up highlights. He's um, brought the Chiefs from a last place team this year back to the first place um, spot they've pretty much held the last, I don't know, six or seven seasons probably. And then we have Lamar Jackson, the 2019 NFL MVP. That's right. A very good running quarterback. However, he's getting very, very freaking good at throwing the ball. The comebacks that he's caused this year, like against Indianapolis, was absolutely astonishing. And then he beat Kansas City this year, finally. that was He's just been amazing to watch. He's an MVP, in my opinion. And then we have... Baker Mayfield of the Cleveland Browns. He's just a great quarterback. More of a game manager. But definitely just just not, not up to that MVP caliber quite at this point. Then we have Aaron Rodgers. Literally the MVP from last season. I believe he won it also in 2014. Don't quote me on that. Dude just lights it up. One of my favorite quarterbacks to watch. All Green Bay does is nothing but win. All Green Day does is nothing but win. So he goes in MVP. That's easy. Zach Wilson has been atrocious in his rookie season. He was the number two overall pick this year. The Jets. Jets are atrocious. He's just bad so far. He could get better, though. And then Jared Goff, formerly of the Rams, his first season as the Detroit Lions quarterback, bad. He's been garbage. And then Jameis Winston, he's injured at the current moment. Actually, he's out for the rest of the season. I think at MCL tear with the Saints. He was doing pretty decent, I guess. Um, just average, I'd say. Really hard to say otherwise. And then we have Justin Fields, 
of the Chicago Bears. I believe he was number whoa, 12 pick, I believe, something like that. He's just been average so far. Then we have Ryan Tannehill of the Tennessee Titans. Great quarterback, but can't put him any higher than that. I think the offense runs through Derrick Henry down there. And then we have Sam Darnold, who I don't believe is even the starter anymore in Carolina. I believe Cam Newton is now the bona fide starter down there. But he's bad. I mean, he looked good at the beginning of the season, and he just overall has been shit. And then we have Trevor Lawrence. He's been pretty bad so far. I mean, not the best situation, unfortunately, for the first overall pick this year, but he hasn't lived up to the hype yet. But I believe he'll turn it around eventually, but for where we're at right now, just bad. And then Mills, he's actually been more impressive, honestly, in my opinion, than Trevor Lawrence, but he's just kind of okay. I can't believe that he's even done decent, you know, with the situation he has. Tyrod Taylor's the starter now, though, I believe. But from what I've seen, he's been pretty decent. And then the 2016 NFL MVP, Matt Ryan of the Atlanta Falcons. Um, at this point, like, he's putting up decent numbers, but he's not an MVP caliber or MVP quarterback anymore. He's just great at this point, which is fine. And with that said, that concludes this list. If you guys would like to see more NFL or any other sports kind of lists, just let me know down in the comment sections down below. And hope you guys have a great day.